Smith fouling it out of his skates, loses it. Rivet, quick chance for McCausland. That's right, another stop by Millen. Two big saves by Charlie Millen there. For Melindy, 30 seconds left in the power play. They switch sides. Melindy, left corner for Alain Sonia, shooting off the side of the net. Melindy with room, centers it, they score. Alex Solnier off the beautiful feed from James Melindy. Hurling back at his own line now with speed through center and in on the left wing. Tries to backhand it on goal. That's stopped by Will. It's a weak shot, but Will makes the save anyway. Now with speed through. Stripped away by Alex Solnier. Look out. Could be a three on two here. Ale Solnier ahead on the left wing. Drops it for brother Alex. Back to LA. It's deflected. Scored. Alex Solnier with what was supposed to be a pass. Anderson has it tapped away from him by McCurdy. Now Beauregard knocks his man Solnia down. Coming in front of Anderson. That's not another. Control off the draw. Goche will roll it in right side. He's got a step centering. Beauregard scores! With a one-on-one step shot. Finds the five hole on Roman Will. The Sea Dogs are on the board. It's a two to one Wildcat lead. The final minute of the period now. Anderson out. The line makes, steps around Alain Solnier. A sharp angle shot. Just flex right on. Got closed on quickly by Rusi. Cut cleared out to center. Rivik jolted by Seed but stays with it. Sharp angle passing from McCausland. Great stop by Charlie Millen. And he hangs All that and more on the next week. Goche still with it. Left wing boards. Goche into the high slot. Right point. Jason Seed. Little wrist shot. Deflected. Down is Will. He can't find it. It's cleared wide. Cameron it out to Semper for Jason, for Jason Cameron. Cooper trying to make it a two-on-one. Cooper lead pass it alone. Oh, what a great stop by Roman Will. Off of Oliver Cooper looking for his first goal. One. Cooper lead pass it alone. Oh, what a... Gives it to Devin McCausland and he'll start out. Feathers one over to the right wing side for Rivick. McCausland tried to streak his way to the net. He does. Decent scores. Devin McCausland. The 75 goal. Oh, nice move inside on Ad. Now he centers. It's deflected. McCausland can't tuck that one in. And it goes, Jay weaving inside the line. Look out, dropped it off. Kelly shooting. Great stop by Will with a right leg. A first blood in the rivalry cup. As that will do it here, Roman Will with, 20, with uh, 33 saves. As the Sea Dogs fall here tonight on a final three. Well, St. John did have a good effort despite being so sharp, man. At least you know, 10 or 12 players out of the lineup. But got to give Moncton credit. They played a pretty solid game themselves here on the road. And Roman Will was great in the net for Saint, or for the Moncton Wildcats, making 33 saves and a 3-1 Moncton win. And the stars were the stars for Moncton tonight. Two goals from Alex Sonier, two assists from Elaine, and Devin McGoslin picking up that third insurance goal on the evening right here. Charlie in the pipe, in the pipe All right, Nathan White here with the Sea Dogs TV post-game interview with uh, Danik Goche and. Danik, just uh, give me your thoughts. What uh, what was the home opener like? Missing uh, missing a lot of veteran guys. You had a lot of ice time out there. Uh, what was the game like against Moncton? Uh, it was well, it was not a hard game, but I think we can play a little bit better. Uh, now uh, the rookie have to uh, like step up, like I said the other time, and just work a little bit harder than that we worked today. But it was okay for tonight. A 3-1 loss, unfortunately, but, I mean, did you see some positives there from, from some of the guys? What what can you guys take away from this game? Um, I see that the, all the, the kids and the veterans, like, try to, to work the best that they can. Sometimes not, it's not working like you want, but everybody was working. And uh, now for the for the for all the kids, the, yeah, they got to work harder because uh, all the veterans are leaving. And what was it like for you as a veteran, as a member of that Memorial Cup championship team, to see all the fanfare before the game with the trophies and everything? Uh, I mean, what, was that an honor, or is that uh, all behind you now? Uh, it's feel good to see all the all the, the fans uh, cheer for us, and it was uh, it was fun and it was an honor. But now it's, it's a little bit in the in the past, and we gotta start for working for this year. And you're wearing the C on your chest as captain tonight. How did you find out that uh, that you'd have the C tonight? Uh, when I came in the room, I, I saw I got a captain. I was, I was happy. I didn't thought I'm gonna have the captain for tonight. But give you a little boost for for the game. For sure. And you're off to Phoenix Coyotes camp tomorrow. What are you expecting from uh, your first taste of an NHL camp? Just play my game. I gotta I gotta work the hard I can. Cause if I want to stay, uh, if I want to try to stay uh, in the AHL, that's my my goal to for this year. I gotta work hard. Okay, well, thanks a lot, Danik Goche, the second star in tonight's home opener against the Moncton Wildcats. I'm joined by Sea Dogs chairman and CEO Scott McCain. 
who's here for the home opener tonight against the Moncton Wildcats. And uh, it's been quite a ride, Mr. McCain. Uh, why don't you give me your thoughts on, on the past few months uh, in Sea Dogs land? Well, Nathan, it's been, uh, it's been a heck of a ride. As you know, last time I was in this building, we were in Game 5 in the, Memorial, in the uh, President's Cup drive. And uh, a few mixed emotions. It was the day that my father passed away, actually. But uh, the next few weeks proved to be successful. He won the President's Cup and then went on and won the Memorial Cup. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, great memories. And uh, well, that was last year. We were really pleased, obviously. And now we're into a new season. And you're out at center ice there today with, with the Cups and, you know, shared, I think, some pretty passionate thoughts with the, with the city of St. John. What was that like to be out at center ice and kind of take it all in for a moment before we start the new season? Well, it's, it's, you know, I don't usually do that. Wayne usually handles that sort of thing. But uh, they asked if I would say a few words, and I mean, you know, I took the opportunity to thank the uh, the fans and the players and the coaches and the scouts, and you know, we've got a, we've come a long way in six years, as you know, Nathan. And our team has really matured, and I think we're now considered one of the top CHL franchises. Uh, we've won a Memorial Cup. We won the first one for Atlantic Canada, and that's important to me and to the fans. And so, look, I, I, I it was quite quite an honor for me to be out there to thank everybody. I know you love hockey and you love winning, so we got everything but the result tonight against the Wildcats. What were your thoughts uh, on the game with so many young guys in the lineup? Well, look, you know what? At the end of the day, the, uh, in our league, these you know the kids, the the younger, better players get an opportunity to go to NHL camps, and that's that's what uh, we live with. Uh, good opportunity for younger kids to step up. I thought our guys played really well, uh, given that you know this is the first time many of them played together. Um, and uh, I talked to the coaches. They were very pleased with how, you know, we didn't win the game. But, you know, what I've learned in hockey, I guess, Nathan, is, you know, the first half of the season is important, but the second half is even more important. And, you know, our team will, uh, when they're all back, they'll, they'll come together. It'll, it might take a little longer than we'd like, but they'll come together and we'll have a good season. Well, we certainly hope so. It's uh, the top dog here, Scott McCain, the chairman and CEO of the Sea Dogs, joining us. This is Nathan White for Sea Dogs TV.